Hey everyone, so we finally got a few hours set aside to we go out and use the mill and kind of get everything squared away. And I started off anchor sealing the ends of all these logs and just to seal up the ends so that so they don't crack. And Sarah came and surprised me with Audrey and she had, she had a little bonnet on and she was in her little carrier, cute as can be. So since Sarah was out there already, I figured I might as well get some get some work out of her. So I put her on the tractor and of course, of course Audrey helped out these were some pine boards that we cut I mean shoot a couple months ago when the hurricane came through we put all the oak and pecan inside but I left the pine out now here Sarah pulling around one of the red oak logs we got this red oak from the fire station up down the road about a 30 or 32 inch diameter log about eight and a half feet long yeah, of course Audrey's helping it's a family business so we're just loading it up I mean kind of speaks for itself I'm obviously not very good at talking Sarah's much better at this maybe she'll redo this for you I, I, if you're hearing this I'm sorry I'm just not good but anyway uh, so we loaded it up I was trying to tell her to ease into it but apparently what goes in my head doesn't always make the hand signals out so uh, she followed my hand signals and not my mind and I don't know what's wrong with her anyway so I'm trying to clamp it in it, it you can't see it here but it's not quite sitting there so I had to kind of cock it forward with the cant hook and again put her to some use so she's clamping it down while I'm pulling it forward against the brace down and I was able to get started milling on it and of course my cameraman started going going a little crazy with whatever whatever she does with the well yeah anyway <laughs> cute baby <laughs> um so once we got it clamped up i could finally get get started milling it now this is the first log we milled in probably six weeks well at least four weeks ever since before the hurricane and certainly the first hurricane log so we were certainly very excited about this and uh, you can see audrey's very excited about it this is also the first time audrey's had a bonnet on we've tried to stick bonnets on her several times and this is the first time it kind of took when the hurricane came through it kind of stirred up quite a bit of bugs and mainly mosquitoes and I'm not really sure we haven't seen some of these mosquitoes before we've been calling them dinosaur mosquitoes and I'm from Florida so I'm used to mosquitoes and, th and this was pretty bad and they're just starting to, to ease up so she brought Audrey out and visited and uh, of course had her wrapped up in you know pants and socks and and the bonnet and everything. I mean, the only thing that was exposed from Audrey was her face sticking out of that bonnet. But anyway, so they're helping out while I'm milling away and Sarah's taking footage of everything because otherwise this this video probably wouldn't be here if, uh, if she wasn't there. First big log we've cut since I upgraded the wiring on the mill. I actually, you know, wired it according to what Woodmiser recommended. You know, it, it's cutting straight as can be and the log's looking real pretty so far. Uh, so we're just cutting along. I'm just cutting along and Sarah's doing doing whatever filming the tractor and the trees and so this is our log pile that we've got got quite a bit we've got probably close to 10,000 board feet worth of logs some red oak live oak I haven't found any white oak yet looking for white oak got a bunch of water oak hickory American elm pecan you can see these are uh, these are two inch wide boards sorry these are two inch thick boards and again this log is around 30 to 32 inch diameter and for this log we're just slabbing it into two inch slabs you know just enough to make tabletops or, or whatever uh, it'll be exciting to see what uh, what comes out of it but certainly a really straight grain really clean log uh, it's really really nice wood that comes out of it so we're happy we can uh, do some good with this uh, rather than just chipping from the firewood and it's nice getting the mill getting the mill fired up and running and you know you can see Sarah's playing around with the camera having a good old time with Audrey and um, you know basically I was cutting away and I looked up and Sarah was was off running back to the house and I didn't know I didn't know what was going on so I stopped and and flagged her down and she's <laughs> she's yelling at me run as she's running back to the house just I saw a bug land on Audrey <laughs> And, uh, you know, when she got back to the house, apparently Audrey was just passed out. I stayed out and I finished milling up the logs, and, or at least that half. And you know, I got, got half the logs done and I kind of transferred them over to the forklift. You can see it's kind of awkward moving these slimes by, the, by themselves. They're at least 150, maybe 200 pounds a piece. I mean, I, I spent probably two or three times just moving the slabs off the mill. Then it took to cut it. Cutting it is no big deal, but moving the slabs 
it's just a lot like work. And then uh, after a little while, Sarah came back out and helped me move them. We kind of stacked them, I guess, European style is what it's called, where we just kind of left it in the, in the log shape and kept the order. You know, that way it looks like a log and don't have to actually cover it. And we'll see how that goes. I've usually been covering it with tin, keep the rain off it, but we'll see. Uh, so, and uh, that's pretty much it. First log down, we got about 20 left to go, maybe more. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching. Hope and I hope to hope to catch you next time.